guys, what's going on? It's Dub here. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to upscale images to a real 4K using artificial intelligence or AI. So everything in this video is free and it is all heavily tested and safe. I have ran this on my own machine and everything is good. This upscaler probably has one of the quickest setups out of any upscaler that I found and it has very good performance and very good upscaling times. So this will work very, very well as long as your GPU is Vulkan supported. An example of a Vulkan supported GPU would be the GTX 10 series cards from NVIDIA as well as the RTX 20 and 30 series from NVIDIA and I believe this also should work if you have an AMD Ryzen graphics card. There are no issues using this on the Windows OS but if you are on Linux or Mac OS you may want to check out a different upscaling tutorial because I'm not 100% sure if this method will work and by the time that this video is out either I'll be making a upscaling tutorial that will work on any OS in the future or if you're seeing this tutorial late it should be already out and this will support Linux or Mac OS. So anyway, let's get right into the installation tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this GitHub page by Zintao. It is called Real ESR GAN and this is the main hub for anime upscaling and different kinds of image restoration and video restoration using AI. So if you scroll down here, this is the main section we're going to be using today. But if you scroll down more, you can see more comparisons between models as well as how to install the repository and use it with command prompt as well as what is included and you can see more comparisons between visual fidelity using different kinds of pre-trained models but for today's tutorial and this method what we're going to want to do is go to this yellow tag here and you can see number three portable windows linux and mac os executable files so just click on the portable windows install and download that to your computer so after you download the real esr gan from the github page you're going to want to go to this gumroad page by by CG piece. All the links will be in the description for what I'm using today. So just go ahead here and then click zero and then I want this and it will ask you to enter an email. So put an email in there and then it will lead you to a download page to download the zip folder with the file that we need to combine with the other files that we've downloaded from GitHub to get this working. So go ahead and download that and then I'm going to show you guys how to use them together. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have both of the files downloaded here. So what you're going to want to do is go into the real ESR GAN bat zip and then just take this real ESR GAN bat and put it in your downloads folder like that. And once you have it here, you can just go ahead and delete the zip. And now you're going to want to right click on the Vulkan and then go extract all and then extract it to this folder. And now we have this folder that opened up. So just close out of that and then delete the original zip. And now if we go into this Vulkan folder, you can see we have some default inputs that are low res to to test the upscaling with. I'm just going to delete these out of here as they are not necessary for the program to work. So now you're going to want to go back to the downloads and drag this real ESR again bat into this folder. And now you have your upscaler ready. So you can put this folder anywhere on your computer and it will work. It doesn't have to be in the downloads. It can be wherever you want. So when you open this folder, you'll see this and you can see the real ESR again bat. And if you try to open it, it will say that Windows protected your PC, but this is completely safe and I've already tried it. So you're just going to go to more info and then run anyway, as it's an unsigned program. So once you run it, nothing will happen because we're not actually inputting anything. So if we open the models folder, you can actually see that it comes with three different kinds of models. It comes with the real ESR anime video v3 as well as the real esr gan 4x plus and the real esr gan 4x plus anime so this batch file is configured to be the anime on default but if you want three already configured if you go to keihatsu which is my discord server and go to the from dubify channel i will have three already configured that i've made so then you can just quickly drag and drop without having to change anything yourself and then you'll be able to use all the different functions of this bat file and the models together so as you can see i have the same thing as i had open earlier right here and the only thing that is different is that i have two new files or three new rename ones which is the plus anime the plus irl which is for in real life photos and then anime video v3 which is similar to the anime plus except just slightly different so once you're here how you actually use these is all you have to do is find an image that you want to upscale on your computer and then drag and drop it on one of these bats it will run the program and drop the image back onto where you put the input from. So let's say, for example, we have this anime picture right here. And if we zoom in, we can see it gets a little bit blurry and a little bit fuzzy right here. So now what we're going to do is drag and drop it onto the X4 plus anime. So once we do that, you can see it opens a command prompt and runs, and then it will automatically open the new upscaled image and drop it right here with a 4X at the end. And it has the same name as before. So now if we open this and you can see 
it has upscaled it to real 4K and it did so very, very well with no issues as you can see. We can even open both of them up separately and zoom in to see what is different about them. So if I go close to the eye and look at the eye, you can see the difference right there. So now we're gonna do it with the IRL stuff. So you can see this is the before of this IRL one. And I'm gonna close out of here. It's just a landscape. So I'm gonna put that into the IRL. It's gonna run it again in command prompt and it's gonna spit it back out. And as you can see, look at that difference from before and after. It recreated some stuff, so it might not be perfectly accurate, but you can see generally the two patches are still there of the grass right here. You can see whatever it guessed here, which is like a herd of animals or something. And it did pretty well there. You can even see the mountain range. They have some of the ridges in there compared to the before, but the difference in that is just crazy. Look at the denoising that it did too. All right, and now we're going to do a manga image test. So I'm going to take this image right here, as you can see of Anya smirking and we're just going to drag this into the anime and the anime video and i'm going to show you guys the difference between the two models here so if i take this manga and drag it into the anime as you can see this is the output we get for the manga and even though it says anime it works with manga because it's the same kind of art style so if we zoom in you can actually see that it has like a bunch of jagged lines here going horizontally and vertically but if we zoom in on here it actually took all those away in the denoising process so now you can see if we zoom in on her face you can see the lines are sharper the the eyebrows are still there even though this one got a little bit messed up but going from however blurry this is to looking like this is pretty good. And then now we can also open this in the anime video. So if we do that and let it run, this is the result we get from the anime video. So as you can see, it's slightly different. It actually missed some of these lines, but you can see, especially right here on the eye, it's not as harsh as the other one was. So this one's smoother and a little bit less touched on. And also another tip is if you want to upscale the same thing for different tests, before you input the same image into another model, make sure you rename one if you want to have it because it will override it if it has the same name. So if it is the same image like this and you put it into a different model, this one will be overwritten and then this one will be lost. So make sure if you want to keep it to not have it be the same name or it will override it if it's from the same folder. And that is basically basically it for this upscaling tutorial. That's all you have to do and it's quite simple to get working and it's portable so you could just put this in a zip, put it on a flash drive or wherever you want to save this to and you could always run it and that's it. You don't have to install anything, you don't have to use an exe and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll be making another upscaler tutorial in the future for videos so if you want to see that please subscribe and if you like and comment on this video it would help me out a ton. So I hope you guys get to upscaling a lot of different things and I'll see you guys next time. Later.